Hello everybody, this is the Boss Hog and this is my video on my stock portfolio as of the 29th of August, specifically looking at uh, the stocks I bought and sold this week. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, honestly a pretty good week. Um, I did mostly follow the market, but there were some interesting days, especially Tuesday and Friday. Uh, so Tuesday, my uh, UK stocks did uh, particularly well. I'm pretty heavy on mining as well as uh, financials. Uh, broadly speaking, recovery, I'm maybe a little bit contrarian at the moment. I don't think the world's going to end. I don't think a crash is coming anytime soon. And I'm very heavy actually on kind of a number of recovery stocks that did pretty well on Tuesday. Uh, and then on Friday, uh, I also did pretty well just because my US stocks did uh, really well, especially a couple of big uh, conviction plays of mine in uh, Huntington Bank shares and Huntsman Corporation, which is my largest holding. Uh, it was just a pretty good day, specifically from a US perspective. Uh, I did suffer like everybody else on Tuesday, I think, uh, especially in the UK where we were kind of all waiting to see what the uh, Fed was going to say on Friday, but pretty happy week, uh, all things considered. How can I not be I'm up, uh, two and a half grand on the week? Uh, so in terms of what I'm doing, uh, a pretty light week on trading, especially compared to last week when I got a little bit carried away. Uh, so I only sold uh, 445, uh, bought 1245, uh, the delta there just being uh, the capital added. As a reminder, uh, I'm adding £800 a week, which is split across uh, two portfolios, uh, and actually I average in at £80 a day. I'm terrible at keeping cash in my account, uh, so I literally don't leave it in my um, stock brokerage account. I literally transfer £80 every day uh, from my bank uh, into each uh, ISA, so that's the way I make it work. Uh, a very easy calculation as well, I'm sure you can see this week, so there's zero dividends. So literally, you know, I bought 12.45. Uh, of which 445 was recycled from sales and in capital added was 800. So nice and straightforward. And honestly, this week uh, shouldn't take too long at all. So a very uh, uneventful week compared to previous. Uh, that said, let's see what I did uh, buy and spend uh, during this week. All right. So again, a relatively modest here. I'm going to uh, focus on the ones that are yellow. I'm going to start with Fever Tree, uh, which is what I did sell uh, my shares to free up some money for. Uh, not a huge amount, but also not a trivial amount either. Uh, 22 shares increased my holding by about 15%. Um, I am averaging down from a little over £23. Oh, you pick these up for an average of 22 46 uh, Some people do still consider that quite expensive. I would say in the 22s, it actually is relatively fair. 21 would be even better. I mean, it's still trading on a pretty hefty multiple. Uh, but my reasons for owning this share are basically a combination of uh, growth in international markets, uh, off-trade growth, which is basically retail growth instead of through pubs and restaurants, uh, and growth in mixers, uh, specifically whiskey mixers, uh, is where they're targeting at the moment. Uh, but vodka has also worked. Uh, they have historically been a special play on gin uh, mixers, which is a bit of a UK speciality, I would say. Uh, but as they've expanded, they've been starting to mix in other mixers as well. Uh, that reason for owning these shares hasn't changed, as far as I can tell. Nothing's really changed from this company. Uh, it is somewhat seen as a recovery stock because uh, it benefits so much, especially its margins and earnings from on trade, so through uh, pubs. Um, and it had a bit of a pullback, uh, I think, because of that. Uh, so for me, it was just a chance to buy some more shares. And this is a top 10 holding for me. So uh, again, it's a relatively big conviction play. And I'm more than happy to buy shares at 22. Uh, if it did go down to like 21 or even 20, which it hasn't been to for a while, uh, I would aggressively look to sell uh, other stocks just because I think it's a great long term growth stock uh, from my perspective. Uh, okay, next up was uh, Bristol Myers. Uh, now, they did get a bit of bad news this week. They lost an appeals uh, against Gilead for one of their um, patents for one of their drugs. Uh, Bristol Myers have said they're going to appeal it. They won the first round. Gilead won this round. Apparently, it's worth about 1.2 billion, so not trivial. Uh, but in general, this week, Pharma had a bit of a, a pullback. Uh, I'm quite happy to buy BMY really in the you know low to mid 60s or sorry mid to high 60s uh, i just think it's a solid pick uh, a good company uh, especially now that they're starting to show scale from their um uh, Celgene, uh big buy that they had i think 2019 or 2020 when it finally finished uh, so this is my main farmer play and i'm just kind of adding gradually uh, and i'll add uh, especially if it's under 6750 uh, or, or lower uh, so that's fine uh, i do want to just highlight as well uh, both polymetal and sentiment poly especially because it had some results this week I would say the results were okay. Uh, they didn't really blow anyone out the, out of the water. The CapEx was a little bit higher, which I think kind of spooked a little bit. Um, but the CapEx is higher because they're planning on bringing in uh, some production a little bit earlier than they were expecting. Uh, and also they're, they're changing the way that they're uh, spending that CapEx and um, basically they're moving it uh, slightly more west from outer Siberia where it was apparently going to be a little bit riskier. Uh, so they decided to do that. 
again, I'm fine with that really. Uh, mining can be <clears throat> capex intensive at times. Um, and really, I mean, poly is my main hedge, uh, both against uh, volatility and inflation. Uh, and I think it's a good company. Uh, I actually consider buying poly under 1550, but under 50 for me is an easy buy. I think at the moment my average is about 1520. Uh, and last is Centimin, which is uh, the rest of my gold hedge effectively. This is a pure play gold uh, company, much smaller, not without risks. Uh, but again, I think for my average, which is like 972 uh, it's a fine company. It yields like 7%, I think, <clears throat> at that level. And, you know, they're, they're uh, just a single mine at the moment primarily, but they are breach, uh, branching out, sorry, into other places. So just to highlight those two as well. Uh, any more questions about any stock I haven't mentioned there, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. But otherwise, let's move on to the shares that I sold this week. All right, so uh, super little list this time. Just two companies to mention. Uh, the first one is Telus. Uh, so I made a small profit on these. I am talking a couple of percent. Uh, I consider Telus a, um, a fair valued company. I think it's a fairly fine company as well. Um, I like some of their Teledoc stuff. Is It makes it a little bit more interesting in terms of a pure play telco. Uh, at one stage, I had like 160 shares in Telus, and then I sold it to distribute it as and when I saw opportunities. Uh, and this was me really just selling the final one share I had just to sort of simplify my simplify my portfolio uh, as well as to free up 17 quid for fever tree uh, blue prism i'm quite certain most people haven't heard of uh, this is a very small <clears throat> uk company uh, not profitable one of those kind of ai uh, data and process improvement for businesses companies i've done a small amount of work with them before but nothing major uh, so i just think it's a it's a small uh, holding that I had. I sold five sixths of it, a very small profit, again, just a couple of percent. Uh, I will be planning on buying back into this company. To, at one stage, I was buying one share a day. I haven't bought any shares from them for a, a, for a week or so, uh, just um, whilst I was buying other stuff. Uh, so yeah, I still like this company. I actually think under £10 is a fine, uh, you know, as long as you're averaging in uh, gradually. Uh, it does have a lot of variance, so you know, you kind of have to strap in for the ride. Uh, but for me, I'd actually like to get this to about 1% of my portfolio. But as you can see, I've just um, sold <laughs> a fair chunk of it. So it's going to take me a little while to get it to 1% of my portfolio from averaging in so slowly. But I think it's an interesting uh, bet anyway. And so uh, what, what can we do? Uh, and <clears throat> anyway, a nice uh, short presentation uh, for me today. Uh, I haven't really got anything else to add. But again, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, welcome to the sounds of East London there with the uh, siren in the background. Uh, but otherwise, hopefully that was useful. Uh, I've been the Boss Hog. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye for now.